and welcome to uh, a training session showing our personnel here at Walsh how to set up um, your plotter styles, which is your CTB files. Pretty simple. What you need to do is first of all just go ahead and open up uh, your browser here uh, to kind of zoom, uh, or to go around into the server, go to geospatial tools, Go to CAD drafting files. Um, let me just show you something. The logos, all the logos that you knew with our company are right here. Once you get in the CAD drafting files, this is all CAD stuff. Um, any kind of blocks that you want are in here. A lot of the blocks are already Im embedded in our uh, template. So for instance, um, an AC unit is there so that's what it's going to look like so we have a lot of this information already embedded um, so let's just uh, not worry too much about that but it's a nice to know not a need to know and then we have dynamic blocks which are our scale bar we have culverts and section callout that's really handy um, let's go back a couple directories our template files we already discussed this um, figure prefix library this is something that you would want to have if you're generating line work, 90% uh, of us won't need to deal with that. Um, if you do need to deal with that and want this functionality, come talk to me and we'll sit down and set it up. Um, we'll talk about line files here in a minute, but this is really what you're after is right here. So let's go back into CAD. Once you have your template set up, you should have all this uh, come in automatically. Type plot. And see how all this comes up for me? Actually, your computer might look like this. Hit this chevron, and then you'll see uh, the, the uh, plot style tables, the pin assignments. So click on this down area, arrow, and um, if you don't see all these, click here. And this is editing. I'm sorry. Just pick AutoCAD CTB so that you can edit it, and then click on that button to edit. We're not going to edit anything. I just want to figure out where it's saved. So if you hit save as, it'll bring you to this. Just copy this entire line here. Copy, cancel, we don't need this anymore. Let's get back in here. Actually, let's open up another one so that we can copy and paste from one to another. Come on, baby. Okay, here we go. So look at all those plotter styles. Yours is going to be fairly empty. All you have to do is click these, right click, copy, drag them over, and paste. That's it. Also, grab this STB file. More than likely you won't need this, but it's, it's a really small file, so might as well just go ahead and drag it over. This is a file that um, some of the other uh, satellite branches use. It's kind of old school. So that's why I say you probably won't use it. Um, the industry's moved towards CTB files, not STB files. So there you go, there's your uh, CTB file. So once you have that, all you have to do is come back in here. You might have to cancel back out and type plot again, or press the button. And you'll see all these uh, CTB files here. Hooray. Um, and then I wanted to show you li uh, some line type stuff. So I'm going to create a new line type. So the default that we have in here is very minimal, and that's because it's our template. We didn't want we don't want a big template. The data is in there though. If you hit load, AutoCAD line file this automatically comes and populates uh, when you download the program. So you should have all this information in there. But I've made some custom line files, and they're on the server, Geospatial Tools, CAD Drafting Files, Line Files. If you click on that, you'll see KDW. This is one that I've generated. Open that up, and you'll see that we have several other line types. Go ahead and say OK, reload, and let's just say fence line. Let's change this to our test layer. Okay, great. That's that's exactly what we want it to look like. Let, let's test a couple other of these. Fiber optic line. 
gas line. Here's our channel flow and direction. Here's our, uh, I don't know what the hell it is. I don't want you modifying this file format. Um, I, I don't want you making any changes to this because I've created it and, it and it works really well for our purposes. If you want a new one, you just copy and paste. All it is is a text file, so you can just open. And I've opened it with Notepad here in the past, so it knows to open it with Notepad. And that's all it is. It's just a simple text file, and so it, it, turn, it converts it to a line type file. You just save it as a line file, and um, the program knows what it is and how to read it. You can make modifications, and the modifications can be, um, well, it, it all depends on what you want. You can really make whatever kind of line type file you want. It just might take some time. And if you have anything wrong, for instance, if yeah, if one thing's off, it's going to look goofy. So just be cognizant of that, and that's why I don't want people fooling around with this. But you can certainly use what I have. Um, and that, that pretty much goes through everything that um, we have. Um, it's, it's not that hard, um, and I think that um, you should be good.